Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here, thanks for being here. You know, as always, the support is much appreciated. By the way, I keep on forgetting to thank you guys. Right, recently crossed the 4,000 subscriber mark. Seen? So we have much to be grateful for and much to be thankful for i keep on forgetting to to thank you guys so you know the support has been much appreciated man much appreciated you know never ever thought i'd get to 4,000 subscribers when i started this channel seeing um gentle mind as always knock up like button subscribe and share free and easy ways to support we're talking about a particular article that I would have come across in the Observer, right? You guys see the banner at the end of your screen. JFF wants to rebuild fan base. Seen the title of the article reads JFF looking to mend fences with the fan base. Now, the mere fact that they have indicated this suggest to me well it's obvious that they realize that there's obviously a very fractured relationship with the fan base so this is a good thing right they say i don't remember the exact quote but but you know one of the are the first step to solving a problem is basically admitting that you have a problem seen so this is this is very good from the perspective that they have identified that they have a problem but let's see what they have to say about said problem and this article again is in the observer and it's done by a rachid parchment seen all right so let's get into the article now the jamaica football federation jff says one of its key objectives ahead of the start of the 2026 fifa world cup qualifying campaign is to rebuild the reggae boys fan base this it says involves having more high profile opponents in jamaica for international friendly matches interesting i cannot remember the last time we had a friendly match in jamaica much less versus a team of any significant standing same it continues while the jff has secured an international friendly game against Argentina, a contender for this year's FIFA World Cup title. That match will be played in Harrison, New Jersey on September the 27th. The JFF has not been able to lure high profile teams to the island because of the large match fees they would require to accept the invitation. This fella on your screen right here is a fella by the name of Raymond Anderson, seen as JFF Vice President. And, and by the way, this is a topic that he has been talking about in the media for years. I remember years ago watching interviews with Raymond Anderson speaking about friendlies at the National Stadium. It seems to be something that is very near and dear to his heart. The article continues to read, but Vice President Raymond Anderson says the JFF is now making plans to rebuild its relationship with the fan base, but he says it will require the help of corporate Jamaica. This is very interesting, you know. This is very interesting. Let me continue to, let me read it a little bit more. We want to improve on our fan base, so we're go gonna appeal more to corporate Jamaica to underwrite the cost of hosting games, Anderson told the Jamaica Observer during a press conference. And that was during the when the unveiling of the new coach. It will take a lot to really have games here in terms of gate receipts and cost of tickets. All right, let's let's pause for a moment. See? First of all. The JFF have identified the problem, but they haven't identified the solution. Now, this is a part of it. I will give them that. that this, is, this is a part of it. But in my humble opinion, this is a small part of it. This is not 
the, 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 the main issue at hand when it comes to a fractured relationship with the fan base, right? The main issue at hand is that nobody no written. Right? Where are the plans to improve and, and, and government, governance rather, or implement good governance? Right? Where is the transparency? Where is the honesty? Where is the JFF coming forward and saying, hey, you know, say the, the, the constant mismanagement and the fouling up of appeals, you know, simple appeals process being mismanaged, you know, making headlines in international publications and all of these things, right? Constant travel foul ups, foul ups here, foul ups there. That is the major reason why the relationship with the fan base is fractured. People are of the opinion that the JFF is at, at best inept and at worst corrupt. Where is the measures to improve the transparency, right? The business to sports deal is shrouded in mystery. Where is the plans to improve the governance of the federation the structure of jamaica's football all of these things need to be addressed so they have identified a big problem but they haven't identified the solution right there's always going to be that disconnect if with the fan base if the jff continue like this and regardless of what the jff wants to say or do bringing friendlies to the national stadium is not going to provide a full remedy and if they continue like this it's going to be difficult to host those games anyways and it's going to be difficult to get those friendlies anyway this jff administration seems to think that money is the solution to all their problems every time you hear them talk about their problems they are ranting about, oh, we're not getting enough help from corporate Jamaica and this and that. I wonder why. I wonder why. Corporate Jamaica no rate to know. Corporate Jamaica don't trust to know. Again, they see you as best inept, at worst corrupt. Lack of transparency is a problem. How you gonna get that help from corporate Jamaica? You want corporate Jamaica to underwrite those costs? Corporate Jamaica trust you guys enough to consider you guys good for business? To consider that you guys will be able to pull this off? Everything on a, on a run begging corporate Jamaica for help. Money will not help the JFF mend their relationship with the fan base it certainly will not be the main remedy that is required to remedy this fractured relationship with the fan base let me continue read. let me continue read. for example if you were to get argentina to come here we would outprice ourselves we have to make sure that will get corporate Jamaica on board and our number one sponsor, which is the supporters, who really have to pay more to go through the gate. So he's asking a fan base that is disconnected from the football and has no ratings, no respect, no regard for the JFF to pay more at the gates. All of the Hold on, to, 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 to go to the stadium to see a disorganized reggae boys team more than likely lose. All of those things have to be taken into consideration. But I can tell you that the plan is to really have some key games in Jamaica because we have to rebuild the fan base for the 2026 FIFA World Cup campaign. Why? Did the disconnect originally occur? Was it because was it solely because matches weren't wasn't taking place at the stadium? 
Don't get me wrong, you know, having matches, hosting matches here in Jamaica will help, you know. But it is not the main remedy. The figure to host games depend on the opponent because of the match fees commanded by the caliber of opponents and players individually. And show. Sure, some will take a development game while others take one where all their top players have to be there and this is it. He described considerations such as electricity for illuminating the venue for night matches as a minimal cost. It may cost an extra $500,000 or so, but everything adds up. He said, if spectators usually pay $2,000 or $3,000 to go to the bleachers and we increase it to $4,000, you will have resistance from the, pub from the public. No kidding. No kidding. Anderson says, should such a situation occur, the JFF would then need to give a justification to the public for the increase. But it has to happen, he says. If we are really serious about the fan base and the 12th man, which we really need, we are going to have to work on it. But the president is working on it and we are going to definitely get it right. And appealing to the, the, the fan base or getting the fan base on board requires the fan base dipping into their pockets far more than they were dipping into their pockets before. To pay for a product that is not improving. Interesting. President Michael Ricketts says a number of changes will be made to the JFS operation. However, apart from the most obvious with Hal Grimson's appointment, he would not get into detail about them. But he did say that the fans also have to play a part in rebuilding the spirit around the team for the qualifying campaign, which is true. This is him being quoted. This is the president now being quoted. I want, and earlier it was Raymond Anderson being quoted. And you guys, you know, realize that you guys can read along the article is on your screen. I want to call out to Jamaica for more commitment, more loyalty, more optimism as we try to change our football direction. Jamaica is calling for more commitment and more loyalty from the JFF. How about doing what's in the best interest of Jamaica's football and stepping aside? The JFF wants the public to do what's in the best interest and just support no matter what. How about you, the JFF, people like my cricket, showing commitment, showing more loyalty, getting in the act together or stepping aside because the job is bigger than them. The truth is, and this is Ricketts continue to be quoted, the truth is, however, that our senior women's World Cup qualification on its own signifies an indication of a new start, and we must not overlook that the Federation has muscled down and has been making important internal changes which will position it to fully support our national activities. The changes I will not speak about too much except to say that the call to action for optimism is based on efforts that we will all make effective immediately, right? This part is interesting. The changes I will not speak about too much. So if you are making these changes, if you are indeed making these changes, wouldn't it be in the best interest to be transparent and forthcoming about these changes? Wouldn't this help the fan base? Wouldn't this encourage the fan base wouldn't this be more of a lure or you know help the fan base you know or, or more of an encouragement to the fan base to, to 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 get involved to come along you know the sad reality of the matter is that the jff still don't fully get it that's just the sad reality of the matter man the JFF just don't fully get it. They still don't fully get it. Anyway, guys, that's my two cents. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think. See him. Knock up the like button. Subscribe. 
to the channel and also share the video as well free and easy ways to support the channel seeing guys take care stay safe and until next time